Frankster. Yeah. I want to show you something. It's my favorite jacket. What do you think? <laughs> that looks great. Is that what you wanted to show me? No. You're taking the weekend off. What? Why? Because you look like shit and you're scaring the customers. Thanks. And besides, your dad's been calling me nonstop saying you need a break, which you clearly do. So if I were you, I'd pack my bags and go home. Bags, get it? Like bags under the eyes? Oh, come on, that's funny. <laughs> you have to explain your joke. It's not funny. How are you? Fine. He told me you went and got tested. Well, I assumed he told you I wasn't a match. I'm pretty pissed you went. You really shouldn't be. How do you expect him to react? I don't know. Maybe with some gratitude that somebody actually cares about him. He's frustrated. So am I. It's not easy for me to just watch this happen to him. You don't have to. You're acting like his nursemaid instead of his daughter. I'm just trying to help him. Well, there's some things you can't control right now. Frankie, please go home. Soon. Just let me finish what I started. Can I help? It's a one person job. Going to bed already? Sure. Uh, uh, wait. Can we maybe talk for a second? For what? About yesterday? Look, I know. I went against your wishes. I just, uh, I wanted forget. to know. Okay. I wasn't apologizing. Were you looking for an apology? One does not look for an apology. One hears an apology. Well, were you looking to hear an apology? I'm tired of fighting, Frankie. Just finish watching your damn show. I'll finish the dishes and we're calling it a night. What's next? You gonna wipe my ass for me? You know what? figure you out. You don't need to figure me out. Stop punishing me for trying to help you. I don't want your help, Frankie. Not like this. What if I was a match? Frankie. What if mom was a match? Why are you doing this yourself? Because every day I'm reminded of how I can't help you. Every day I watch you give a bit more of yourself to look after me. But you don't realize it. I need you to be okay so I can be okay. That's how parents work. I can't let you die too, Dad. No one lets anyone die like that, Frankie. Cancer, kidney failure, it's not up to us. Who the hell is it up to? Look, Frankie, uh, just because you lost one parent doesn't guarantee you get to keep the other one. Life doesn't owe you anything. But you have to have the courage to realize and accept the things that you can't change. Does that mean? Things may have to get much harder before they get better for you. But you'll never be given more than you can't handle. Okay. 
Okay. No. I'm just, just with Frankie. Booyah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, what's the difference between the Newfoundland Pirates and the Invisible Man? What? <laughs> Don't engage, Frankie. You got a better chance of seeing the Invisible Man in the finals. <laughs> there he is. Why don't you find a jersey that fits you before you talk to me? Hey, I lost 162 grams because of you. Hey, what do we have here? Ah, oh, Frankenstein transformed. <laughs> Bibbidi bobbidi boo, don't forget your glass shoe. Okay, <laughs> enough with the boys club behavior. I like the jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Gina. No, we gave it to him. Mm. It looks like everyone's getting Gino's hand me downs. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I'll uh, see you guys later. See you, Frankster. Hey, have fun tonight. Hello. A little closer, Tony. <laughs>